Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm cooking um, pork chop and silver beet and it's like a adu au um, kind of meal because I don't have um, adu au. So the next best thing you can use is um, spinach, silver beet. Yeah, um, it depends how you're cooking and if you like silver beet, it's a nice substitute actually. So here's my ingredients right here, but here's the ingredients guys, uh, green bananas, pork chop, onion, minced garlic, chicken powder, coconut cream, pepper, and silver beet. That's spinach to some guys. Uh -huh. There's the ingredients there. Okay, glad you're back, guys. Now I'm gonna um, boil my bananas, okay? So, I'm gonna boil them with skin, the skin on. Yeah, that's how most of us uh, boil it, easier than, you know, going through the trouble of peeling it. Mm -hmm. And then just boil it and then peel it when it's cooked. And I always uh, chop both ends off. For one thing, it's easier to peel when it is cooked. And then you put a bit of oil in there so the starch, the sticky starch, doesn't um, hold on to the rim of your, the edges of your pot. I always like buying the, like, the fat, stocky bananas. Not the ones that's too skinny. To me, it's like when it's boiled, it's like it's hollow inside. But with the fat ones, it's, you get more meat, you know, solid meat out of it. Anyway, here we are. So I'm just going to put a bit of oil. I'm going to use some kettle water so it um, speeds it up, you know. Got no time to muck around. Mm -hmm. There we go. I just filled the kettle water back up. You know, I don't like um, how. My family finished the kettle water and they never put any more water in it. So rude. So now it's time to rewash my hands. Put the lid on here. And then chop up my hot chop. So it's time now to wash the meat and then after that you wash the meat. Mm -hmm. These uh, pork chops are quite thin guys. These are good for barbecue, you know, you just chuck it on and it doesn't take long to cook. So when you chop up your meat, it doesn't matter how big or how small you want it. So these are the pieces that I'm going to uh, chop up guys. Yeah, so my mum, she doesn't eat pork, so this is not a meal that I'm making for her. She has a different kind of meal. Yeah, doesn't take long to cook for her. The ones with the fat, I like to chop it down, you know, so when you're eating it, you don't have too much fat. But, mm, I love that. 
as you can see. <laughs> anyway, I'll chop this and then I'll get back. Okay guys, see you in a little bit. So I've chopped up all the, the pork. Guys, you're going to hear my fan, right? Yeah, it's too hot in here and I have to close the door with the air conditioner in because, you know, my mom's uh, Samoa radio is on. So, gotta let her enjoy her TV instead of hearing me blah, blah, blah. In here. Anyway, wash the meat nice and clean. Let it splash all over you. <laughs> Woo okay. So I'm going to bring this over here. Bring this over. Turn this on. Yeah. Now I'm going to cook the pork chop, guys. with no water right now because what I washed the you know the pork chop with the water it'll bring out a lot of that water so it'll help cook it up I had on onion how's everyone doing hope you guys are all right all well With life, you got to make it as you, you know, as you go away. You know, but you got to talk to the good Lord. He will, you know, help us out. He hears our prayers, you know. It's not always easy trying to be good. We all know that. But we try, you know. I can I can hear my bananas spoiling at the back. Oh no! Uh huh. So I just got to get a little bowl for this onion. Yeah, that'll be cooking fast because I boiled it with um, boiling water. So it's just to speed up the process. So you gotta let it boil and wait for the inside to cook as well before you stop. Now I'm going to chop off the end bits of this and use mainly the leaves. So boom! Yep, you just hold it tight with a bundle. So what I like to do, I like to soak it in water because all the um, the bugs that's hitting, that's hitting, put the sitting in water, you know, the leaves. Because you'll be surprised what comes out of the leaves, like bugs, little baby twigs and leaves and yeah. So you want to leave it soaking in there. So all those little bits and pieces come down. Does my hair look good? So dry guys. I'm gonna go to the um, I'm gonna go to the salon and yeah, so I'm gonna go to the salon, guys, and do my hair. I've been so busy trying to look after everyone, but then I went today, guys, so me a nice little shopping all by myself, and it was so good because I had no one to disturb me when I'm. Looking and picking what I want. It's just a lovely, quiet chopping to myself. And guess who was the babysitter for my mama? Yep, my husband. So this is just um, cooking along. So it's got some water, but I'll add um, a little bit more. So 
So I've added about half a cup of um, water and just to cook it down. And then after that, um, after the water dries out, that's the time to fry the onions and put in the silver beef. So while I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm going to um, put everything together. I'll just move the handle. Because you know when you've got handles uh, poking out, you must turn it away from me. Because you just never know whether you accidentally bump it over. And then you're going to get burned. Then you're going to call yourself. Triple zero, one one one, nine one one. So, you know, you have to take care, guys. Turn away the handles away from me. So, one can of coconut cream. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting a little bit of water just to get up, get out some of that um, my coconut cream that's in there. Then you shake about two teaspoons of the chicken powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of garlic. Okay, teaspoon. And guys, I'm going to put a full teaspoon of flour, plain flour. And it's like this one. Look. So that's like two, isn't it? Mm. So I'm going to put it in there. Because it's got to be watery. And I kind of like it a little bit thick. So when you add a bit of flour, it's still going to be kind of watery. But at least it's got a, a hint of thickness. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stir it all up, have it all ready, so when it's time to pour it over, that's when you do it. See, this pork chop is bubbling up. Good. Pork chop doesn't normally take a long time, pork, you know. And the silver beet doesn't take long to cook at all, so it's good to cook this right down until it's cooked properly. And then you add in the silver beet. The banana is cooked now, so I'm going to tip it down the sink. So before I tip it down the sink, I run the, the cold water. The not so large. People are watching. Don't make a lot. The pork's been cooking now for about 15 minutes. Yeah. So it's ready now, like, to tip out the... Let me just see a fly. Ray! I don't know. Could be a bird outside, guys, because... Mm, look like a fly. Oh, yes, it was a fly. Guys... I hate them when they're hanging around. They just bug me because it's a bug. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to tip out the remaining water of the pork and then I want to just fry it a little bit with the, the onions. So I've emptied out my um, the water that was in there. So just want to toss it a bit with this onion. See, you can always see if it's cooked by, I always pinch it, and if it feels soft, that means it's, you know, you pinch it. So it will tell you if it's cooked or not. Anyway, so you just put a bit of your silver feed in there. See guys, the, the cabbage has calmed right down. So it's time now to 
Put the coconut cream in. Mm -hmm. So I'm just getting a bit of water, guys, to pour over it and let it simmer. And it will all cook together and it'll be double diggity. Mm -hmm. Let it mingle. And don't forget guys, after you can season it some more to your liking. But for now, I just want to turn it down. Yeah, and then just let it simmer right down and come back later and I'll show you when it's cooked. It's cooking good guys, see? See how it's watery? But I added in that flour so it's not as watery. Kara um, is a bit thicker, so you don't need flour if you've got kara, but my husband always buys this coconut cream, and it's just straight coconut cream instead of having um, a thickener in it like kara does. But it's cooking nicely, guys. So I'm just simmering it, and then turn it off. And here it is guys, all ready to eat. Everything is cooked. And there's um, my coconut cream down the bottom. So I'll get me a bit of pork, some of the silver beet. Here guys, mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Yum, yum. I mean, some more guys. Mm. That's all to it. <laughs> mm. Mm. When you make that, bon appetit. And thanks for hanging out with me. Take care. God bless.